In today's video, a viewer sent me an amazing Yu-Gi-Oh collection that will be for sale. What's up guys, we're back with another epic collection opening. In this video, we have a consigned collection sent by a viewer. We're gonna check out all the graded cards he sent me. It's a complete graded collection, so that should be pretty fun to look at. And also, if you want any of the cards, check out ruxin34.com. I've been listing a ton of stuff. There are hundreds of items on there right now. So if you want like empty booster boxes that I've opened on the channel, if you want empty tins, if you want PSA cards, if you want single cards, if you want stuff that's not empty, you know, sealed items, there's a few of those on there as well. I'm constantly going to be updating the website. That's kind of my new place to put most of my stuff. Unless it's lower end, it'll go on TCG player under the seller name Ruxin. So let's just get right into it. We have a note. And also, before we read this note, we're going to open some packs at the end. I have about 15 packs to open up, so maybe we can pull something crazy to end as well. So here's a little note. Dear Sir Ruxin34, hopefully this box finds you well. I have been watching your channel since you had 4,000 followers. I know that these cards will go to a good home. I've also thrown in four extra slabs. They are my favorite cards and I'm ready for them to find a new home. Thank you for the daily uploads. They have helped me maintain my sanity. P.S. Sorry for the chicken scratch handwriting. Honestly, this is not bad at all compared to a lot of people that we we get their handwriting. It actually is somewhat readable. Only had to stop one time and figure out what you said. This collection was sent to us by Michael. So shout out to Michael uh, for sending us the cards for the consignment. It's gonna be fun. They also sent a giveaway. So let's see what is inside. If you guys want to enter the giveaway, don't forget, uh, you may have already entered a giveaway and won a giveaway. Go check out the YouTube community tab to see if you've won that. I've been announcing, trying to do every Friday. If I forget Friday, I sometimes do it on like Monday or something, but I've been consistent recently about announcing them. Go see if you guys have won. I've been shipping out a ton of giveaways. Like a large percentage of people are actually claiming them, which is great. So keep doing that guys. Keep checking out the YouTube community tab. It's on my channel. You guys can go find it there and see if you won a giveaway. If not, there's always next time. Okay, here it is. Wow, this is a lot of cards. So we have a Secret Rare Trihorn, Flame Swordsman from LOB, Raigeki. Wow, this is good stuff. Mystical Elf, Maneater Bug, Right on the Forbidden One. A lot of LOB cards. Pretty nice. We have a number 39 Utopia Double and Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood. Interesting. So... Overall, a pretty nice giveaway right there. All you have to do to enter that giveaway is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below your favorite card from this collection, and make sure you thank Michael in the comments for the video. Okay, so we have his favorite cards. I think we're gonna save those for last, okay? Favorite cards are gonna go there. We do have all of these cards though for co the collection. Let's see what is gonna be on ruxin34.com. I know he's also been really excited about this video. Every time I post a collection video, he's like, oh, it wasn't mine this time, but this time it is yours. Here we go. I don't know if we're supposed to go in a certain order. I don't even remember what's in here because I got eight collections at one time, like a month and a half ago, and I've slowly been getting to them. So we're finally to this one. Oh, okay. Crystal Clear Wing Synchro Dragon Ghost Rare. Pretty good start. I mean, it's not a crazy ghost rare, but it is a ghost rare. And PSA 9 is really not bad. We've seen some really bad grades recently in some of our consignments, getting like fives and threes and stuff like that. So nine is always great. Okay, next item, let's see what it's gonna be. That looks pretty clean on the back. Might be a newer card. Oh, it's not, it's a premium gold, which is, I mean, it's newer, but I mean, compared to like old, old, but it's definitely not new. Premium gold's like almost 10 years old at this point. Slide to the Sky Dragon, there's a PSA 7. Those are the sevens we're looking for. Can't be a PSA video, like return or, or collection or whatever it is without a seven. Okay, let's see what this one's gonna be. A lot, I mean, there's a lot of scuffing. I think it's on the slab though. Let's see what this one is gonna be when we flip it around. Oh, that is a new one. That is a QCR Red Eyes Black Dragon from the Legendary Collection. So yeah, they have these like attribute errors pretty often and they often have some scratching on the back. So they're really hard to get tens but it's really even, it's just hard to see that scratching through the slab. Next one, let's see if we can, we got seven, eight, nine. Let's see if we can get a 10. Here we go. Another eight. So it looks like these that he sent in are consistently getting eights. We are two for two on the Dark Magician and the Red Eyes. It's just, they're very pretty cards. I mean, they're a little bit too shiny, I think, on these. Like they went a little bit overboard. It's kind of hard to read, but overall still very nice looking cards. Nice cards so far. Let's see if we can get, oh, this one, is this one an older card maybe? I'm not sure. No, it's not. It's just a QCR. Okay, of course. Another eight. So the full set got eights, unfortunately. Not full set, if you don't include the god cards, but of the non-god cards got eights. That's a little sad. You want to see maybe a little better. Like, this stuff makes it so hard to tell. That is definitely not on the uh, on the card. That one. Okay, let's see. Another blue eyes. Wow. This is a lot of, uh, a lot of eights for the QCR stuff. I'm guessing, I'm going to guess QCR here. 
Wow, eight central out here. The scratching out of the pack is really bad. That's why I've seen some of those get tens, and I'm like, how did you guys get tens on those? On mine, I didn't even bother sending them in because they're like eights every time. Oh, I wonder what this one could be. <laughs> I'm going QCR. Let's see. Wow, another eight. So they are consistent. That's for sure. Consistent. I'm guessing that this life of the sky dragon right here is also going to be an eight. Let's see. Yep. Okay, so we have one nine, one seven, and like six eights. Make it probably seven right here with the obelisk. You can't see them through the slab, but there's these slight like scuffing and scratching on the back normally with these. And it looks like they were on those as well because it got a bunch of seven or eights, I should say. Seven eights is what I'm trying to say. Maybe this one is something different now. That one looks like a newer card. Oh, I was wrong. Okay, I haven't been able to guess very well today. That is an ultimate rare majestic star dragon, and it got a PSA 9. That's actually pretty good. It's unlimited. First editions of these are crazy because, you know, first edition packs, you can't really get them unless you get the pre-release or the European, stuff like that, or the, the tin stuff. So it's pretty hard to get these no booster boxes first dead. This is unlimited, so all that doesn't matter. But still, a 9, really, really cool. That's actually a really great grade. Okay, let's see if this is another ulti. It is a Rottweiler. I feel like I had one of these in another consignment. I did, actually. I think it was a nine as well. So I'm pretty sure, if I remember, it might have been first ed, though. I don't know if it was unlimited. That card looks amazing. Rottweilers are really cool, like, random elemental hero card that's, like, kind of an elemental hero card, but not really. That's pretty nice. Let's see what this is. Invader of Darkness, 25th anniversary. I'm not sure why he graded that one. That's an interesting choice. So it got an eight as well. So that one's going to be very cheap on the website. Cheap stuff like $10 slabs or $15 slabs usually sell really fast. So it might even be gone by the time you see it. This is definitely a new card. Zodian Necros. Okay, that got a nine. Unfortunately, that would have been a pretty cool 10, even though it's a newer card. Just having a Necros in any print is going to be pretty awesome. Nine's not bad. What about this one? This one, probably. I'm guessing another 25th anniversary card. Ooh, an eight. Okay, yeah. Probably wouldn't recommend grading like 25th anniversary for the most part because for what he paid, like what we're going to be having like the consignment for is probably going to be like the same amount or a little bit more than uh, what the grading fee was on a lot of these. Like an eight Vampire Lord is probably going to be, I'm just guessing, but the price will be on the screen. I'm 20 to $25, I would guess. Ooh, there's a Buster Blader. So if it gets like a 10, then it could definitely do okay because of PSA 10. But with this new stuff, it seems like it's so hard to get 10s for some reason. A lot of the time there's like a foil line or something. Just some reason, like off-centered or whatever it is. I'm guessing more 25th. This looks like more new. Gate guard. Lots of 8s too. Like these cards don't look that bad. I mean, centering's maybe a little bit off. Surface looks pretty clean. But as I said, you can miss like scratches and stuff. More 25th. Let's see what we got. Ooh, a PSA 9. No 10s yet. Wow, this is rough. This looks so weird when you see this card is treated as an Archfiend card. Like that just feels wrong being there on a Summon Skull. But, you know, the 25th anniversary, they have all that new text. Couple more cards. What do we have? Another 25th anniversary card. Can we get a 10, please? Yes, there we go. I summoned it. Mirror Force 25th anniversary Metal Raiders. There we go. Okay, that's a pretty good one. That's a pretty good one. Okay, we got a PSA 10. Surface looks nice. Okay, so seven, bunch of eight, a lot of eights, like 10 eights. Decent amount of nines and a 10. Two left. And then we have his favorite card. So more scuffing here. Let's see what this one is. Another eight. Guy the Dragon Champion. That's tough. Eights are definitely tough. One more. Let's see what this is going to be. Oh, another gem mint, a thousand dragon secret rare. Okay, a couple Metal Raiders cards coming through. Of course, it's Metal Raiders always coming through. Pretty amazing. And don't worry, that's not it because we do have pop four, pop one, pop one, pop five on these cards. So his favorite cards, apparently low pop as well. Okay, before we get into the pack opening, we have these last four PSA cards. So I'm going to go from the front. Let's see. I'm guessing these are somewhat older, maybe. Oh, and oh, a Jim Mint 10, Odin, okay. Wow, unlimited, but whoa, PSA 10, Ultimate Rare Odin. That's a nice card. Okay, I wonder if these are all PSA 10. I'm guessing they are based on the low pops. Okay, that's pretty amazing. Let's get the, the full view. Let's open this thing up. Uh, Yeah, some of these have some scuffing. Maybe he's had these a while. Wait, he definitely has. That's a 5-7 cert, so these are a little bit older. Okay, here we go. Oh, we got the Loki Lord of the Ages. Whoa, does he have all of these? This was great at the same time. Look at this. These were consecutive certs. 8485. Ultimate rares. Wow. Okay. Ultimate rare PSA 10s. That is not easy. I wonder if he has all of the ultimate rares here. Let's find out. The ultimate rare Nordic gods. That's what they're called. What in the world is on there? That's weird. Okay. Something on the back of the slab. An atomic scrap dragon. This is also 
a consecutive surge. So his Storm of Ragnarok cards were super clean, it looks like. And his final card, is it going to be another ulti from Storm of Ragnarok? Or is it going to be a Max C from Storm of Ragnarok? Or this could be the Ghost Rare. Who knows? Maybe it's the Ghost Rare. Let's find out. Looks like this is not a consecutive surge. This is three later. So a couple were not tens, I guess, or maybe sold them. I don't know. Oh my gosh, Kara Curry Steel Shogun. We have a couple of these on the website in like PSA 6 and 7, so now we can add the PSA 10 as well. That's pretty crazy. Getting that many Ultra Rare PSA 10s in one sub, he definitely had a nice grader. Okay, let's open a few packs because we don't want you guys to have too short of a video. Let's get a Ghost Rare. I checked and I, I kind of know how many packs we have left now for Ghosts from the Past. As I've said, it's not many. Uh, there were a few more that I didn't know I had, so it's a little bit more than I thought it was. I also brought back our favorite set, Legendary Duelist Soul Burning Volcano, which I have a bunch of packs just laying around, so why not? Let's try to get the Ghost Rare again. I mean, I would be okay with pulling another Ghost out of this. I wouldn't be mad. Foxy, Salaman Great Revive. We have Joel Counter and Volcanic Hammerer. That didn't work out so well, but that's okay. Ghost from the past one. I believe you're going to be the one. You're going to be the one that blesses us right here. We have Dragoonity, Rux and Special, Hieratic, Metapholes, Mass Change. And Supernova Dragon. Okay, Supernova Dragon. Not bad. Okay, let's do a little OTS Tournament Pack 21. Let's see if we can pull an ultimate out of this. We have a, a Maze Attraction. Abyss Actor. And Light of the Branded Super Rare. Okay, nothing too exciting there. Let's see if this next one goes from the past one with a Dark Magician art. Can give us that Dark Magician, please? Salvage, make it happen. Make this be the video. Time Thief. Time Thief Retrograde. Sun Avalon, and evenly matched. We will take it. Okay. Well, not as expensive as it once was, it is still a few bucks. All right, let's try this Spell Ruler 25th Anniversary. A lot of 25th Anniversary packs in this return that we, not te technically a return, but was sent to us, PSA opening. Uh, so let's, in honor of that, pull Blue Estune Dragon. Umaruka, Fire Kraken, Queen Bird, Ruxin Special, right into... Look, we asked for Blue Eyes Tune. We got the other secret. I cannot complain. That's a nice card. Sleep it on up. Serpent Knight Dragon. Okay, that's not bad. We got a few other packs. Maybe that means we can get a Ghost Rare. Just leading up to that. Exceeds Burst. We have Update Jammer. Rooks and Threshold. Heos Enru. Cosmol Dark Lady. Arm Dragon. Okay, I think I have about seven packs left, something like that. Wanted you guys to get a nice video today. Enjoy it. You know, have fun. Buster Dragon. We have Miss Valley Baby Rock. Monarchs Erupt. We're almost getting to Christmas, too, which is pretty crazy. This year has gone really fast. Sun Avalon Dryas. Starry Night. Why did that look like an ulti for a second? I don't know why, but it did. Six packs left. We have four ghosts in the past one, and then a couple of legacy packs to open up as well. Lavolve All Dragon. We have Hieratic Seal from the Ashes. See ya, Ryu. We have the Rare Metaphors. And evenly matched again. Okay, two of them. Gonna get that play set. That ain't bad. I'm gonna do one more. Goes from the past just so we even it out. Two of these, two of the Legacy Packs. Wow, this pack is really dis it's just disintegrating in front of us. Okay, update jammer. We have Heroes on Roo, Cosmo, Salvage, and Dragoonity Knight. I reaped here. I can't say it. Time for... Pharaoh's Servant. You guys know what Rhyme always says. It's not a Ruxin video without pulling the Jinzo. Numinous Healer, Drill Bug, Gamble, Cold Wave, DNA Surgery, Inspection, Magic Drain, and... What is going on right now? We're pulling the seat. We're asking for secrets. We're pulling the other one. Very weird. We got a secret rare as well. So we've got Serpent Knight and Imperial Order. That's pretty wild. Just a couple of packs left. This has been a weird opening. Very weird. You know what else would be weird? Pulling a Ghost Rare misprint. That'd be pretty cool. He was Enru. Cosmojo. Sunseed. Galaxy Eye Cypher Blade Dragon. And Sun Avalon Dryinchi. Wait, did I pull a Dryas earlier? I think this is a good card. I just remembered that. People have been telling me that for forever and we never pull it. I think that's a good card. I gotta check. Okay, let's do Metal Raiders, then we'll do one more Ghost from the Past pack, and then we'll get out of here. We'll get out of this video. One, two, three. Let's get a secret. We have Miss Gorsman. Let's get Gay Guardian. We're not gonna get Thousand Dragon, right? Ancient Brain, Feel the Pain, Thunder Dragon, Musician King, Kaminari Attack, Share the Pain, Ground Attacker Bug Roth. Fake Trap, and Tribute to the Doomed, another foil. I feel like we're pulling really well for these few packs we've had. And speaking of pulling well, goes from the past one. <sighs> All right, guys, if you guys have enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe. If you want to check out Ruxin34.com, I have a lot of stuff for sale over there. Go check it out. Pick something up. There's a mint card right there. 
Here we go. Hieratic Dragon, Hieratic Sun Dragon, Sun Vine. Time Thief, Flyback, Final Card, Ghost Rare. Here we go. Vampire, the Void, the Void, Void, Vode, the Vode, the Vode, Vode. Shout out to Tome Fall Show, Daxter, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutster, Leo Gwine 62, Brad KK Beats, Ananda Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Marding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Changalang, and Joey Castle. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.